Ya. Hai guys, assalamualaikum. Halo Shikila, waalaikumsalam. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing good. How about you, Shikila? I'm doing great too. Uh, but then I'm not feeling that good. Oh. <laughs> so, um, I hope you guys are all in a good shape and condition. So. You guys realize that in this pandemic, we often we felt sick because like we don't exercise much. We just um, lay in our bed all day and eat unhealthy foods. You guys ever felt that? Yeah, I ever felt that because actually our activities like decreased and our body needs to adapt more. And now I, if I do more activities than the usual days in this pandemic, because usually I just lay on my bed and when I do some hard uh, activity, my body gets uh, unwell, something like that. My body needs to adapt more. Yeah, what about you, Maya? And have you ever felt like you're feeling unhealthy or just not in a good oh, yeah. shape? Uh, actually, I'm feeling very unhealthy because I'm, uh, I'm feeling uh, my body was um, gain weight, yeah. Uh, you know, I see. And I feel, oh my god, <laughs> I have uh, right? to keep your diet. Yeah, I have many fat in my belly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, same like you guys, I felt that too, especially when we're staying at home. You know, sometimes it felt this uh, just a stress, and we just ate lots of foods to just keep ourselves steady. Uh, yeah, I felt that too. But then um, the risk of that is just we gained lots of weight, and we got lots of I don't know, lots of sickness. Maybe I can say. So speaking of um, gain weight. We're going to, in this topic today, we're going to talk about diets. Okay. Oh, okay. Some of you ever tried to diet, dieting? I've tried once. Mm -hmm. And so, as we all know that there's a lot of types of diets, like um, in Indonesia, the most popular diets are, what do you call it, a calorie deficit diet. Mm -hmm. um, and also the mayo diet, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, well, there's still lots of types of diet. So we're going to talk about it today. So maybe I, I can start it first, the diet that I've ever tried. So a uh, few years uh, from now, I uh, wanted, I, I, I'm ever planning to uh, be healthier and then just uh, keep my body healthy and also just uh, lost a few weights. But uh, and I've tried many types of diets, but then the diets that I've really worked of uh, for me, it's the deficit calories, calorie deficits diet, because I think it's the healthier way because we could still eat uh, various foods, but just in one condition that we um that we counting on the calories that we've earned and that we eat today. So uh, I think that's the type of diet that I re that, that are really match on me. And I think uh, my mother ever tried to try the Mayo diet, which is the diet that uh, has a menu without salt. So it's, it's it doesn't have any taste. Yeah, and it, it, it's, it's not that effective, but then some of, people might lose some weights from that diet. So, but uh, besides that, there's a lot of types of diet like the paleo diet. Based from the source that I read, uh, it's a natural way of eating. One that almost abandons all intake of sugars. The sugar, uh, the only sugar in paleo diet come besides the sugar from fruits. I think that's kind of horrible. Yeah, and then the vegan diet, which is the diet that uh, 
uh, diet is a form of a vegetarian diet. So the person who do the vegan diet don't eat meat. They just eat um, vegetable beans like that. Yeah. So any thoughts? Is it just like vegan eater? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I, I see that so many diets die and mm -hmm. Every, every diet has a um, different effect on everybody because everybody has its own, you know, typical and how everybody is different because, yeah, the way their body is shaped. So I think for calorie deficit, uh, there's an application that can help you to count the calorie and the food that you yeah. eat. Yeah. I ever used that, but I think uh, it did not really work well for me because you know uh, I I I'm a usually usually I just forget to write what I ate before, mm -hmm. and yeah I just I just I mean I try to reduce uh, my weight and yeah it it works just to you know reduce my rice I just eat uh, some little rice a few little rice and and eat once a day and just mm. eat some fruits and then yeah how can i eat my snack i just eat some fruits and it works i you know i lost i think about six kilograms oh. this pandemic and <laughs> it, it really makes me happy but yeah, yeah it works but besides the healthy diet there's a lot of risk and also like we could have a summer cake or just maybe yeah, yeah there's a lot of risk mm -hmm. if we're not doing that right yeah because if we do it extremely our body will be shocked and mm -hmm. yeah we gotta do it slowly and correctly because um, yeah if our body you know decline it decline our way to eat it will cause some any like uh, illness. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think um, most of people who don't diet or who does diet is the people who may be um, insecure with themselves because of the body shapes or they may be, um, some people might suffer obese, obesity uh yeah i think uh those people suffer things that caused they do does diet uh -huh. yeah talking about obesity so mm -hmm. i think obesity are defined as abnormal or excessive fat accumulation that presents a risk to hold a body mass index you know bmi if yeah. The, if the BMI is over 25, it's considered overweight, and over 30 is obese. Okay. Yeah, I see that. I think diet is must be done for health purposes, not just for any for appearance purposes, for fashions and something like that. Take an example from you know like some. Korean idol or Korean actress that done uh, some diets like extremely extreme diets just in a, in a day they just add like one sweet potato one banana and just a spoon of rice and it's really extreme how can they do some activities which is that uh, source of energy <laughs> it's ridiculous but it, it's, it's not a long-term diet it's just a short a short period of diet but many people did that for the long period and it caused many illness many burden that yeah i think that people must know more about how to how to do diet correctly and any you know many information about diet so what is what i said before i think obviously because many um, you know, like health risk. Oh. And maybe you can uh -huh. say any of illness or disease that caused by obesity. Uh, okay, well, uh, but before I tell, I want 
ask you. Uh, so the idol diet is just for uh, entertainment intention, is it right? Yeah, so uh, for the example, and sing a singer or maybe an actress that has some schedule to attend an award, they must uh, look pretty and beautiful because yeah, they're they're entertainer, they entertainer. It, it's just their job. So they they did some diets, or like extreme diet, but just for short period. It's not a long term period diet. So yeah, um, so and and actually some artists have their you know doctor to consultation about their diet but usually people follow how the way idol diets without any consultation with their doctor with some experts just like that Maya. oh so uh some artists have uh um, has uh their private nutrition doctor is it right yeah oh, okay uh if i'm not mistaken the the extreme diet is uh will cause the anorexia yeah it can it it can uh, be it would be anorexia if we did it you know extremely and for anorexia actually it's just a syndrome where a person who's over it actually he he's thin or maybe she's thin, they're thin and they're slim, but they feel like they're still overweight or maybe not good for okay, so their- so it's part of mental illness. Yeah, yeah, it's part of mental illnesses, anorexia. Mm -hmm. they, they, for the extreme anorexia, their body can, you know, decline to eat. They just vomit when they eat in Israel extreme. Some people even cannot eat some foods and just receive some source energy from, you know, what is it? How do we call in English in English? Wait a minute. Infusion, yeah. I think anorexia is just same like bulimia. It's a, it's a symptom uh, that uh, cause uh, mental illnesses. Bulimia yeah. is one of the yeah mental illness that may be caused from diet. Yeah. So maybe back to obesity. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, I've uh, I have so the anorexia patient and uh they look so scary because they look like walking skeleton you know mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. it's pretty you know worrying because yeah. i think people who suffer anorexia they suffer it because some words of people who say to her or him before that maybe he or she looks fat and they do some extreme diet but is it because of anxiety they did oh, I... they have some you know anorexia symptom because anxiety at the first they scared they appearance is not enough for the public or something like that mm -hmm. so they have anorexia so people like that i mean okay. we have to you know say something good to every person and it, we, do, we don't know that our words can cause to some, you know, mental illnesses like anxiety or anorexia. Depression too. Yeah. So okay. I think we should talk about the disadvantage or the risk. Mm -hmm. The disease oh, yeah. that because of, of obesity. Like, no, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, so I have read the article from the CDC, if you know CDC, uh, Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, yeah. Okay. And they said the health consequences of obesity is many. Uh, okay, maybe I can tell you uh, some consequence like that, of course, yeah. And high blood 
pressure or hypertension and then type 2 diabetes and coronary heart disease and stroke okay uh, and gallbladder osteoarthritis is the disease on like a breakdown of cartilage and bone within a joint and sleep apnea and breathing problems okay and low quality of life and mental illness such as clinical depression anxiety and other mental disorders body pain and difficulty with physical function i think obesity has many consequences is it right that's right exactly um i think that's why we gotta you know keep our diet and just eat healthier from now because yeah. you know health is expensive guys like i mean prevention is better than cure yeah sure you know uh besides the um symptoms that my address said before there's a lot of problems day-to-day -day problems related to obesity which uh yeah. which are breathlessness and increased sweating also snoring difficulty oh. doing physical activity also often feeling very tired and then uh, joint and back pain low confidence and self-esteem and also feeling isolated yeah it's a day-to-day -day problem for obesity okay uh, so guys uh Actually, I don't really know about the diet program mm -hmm. because the only one diet I know is just fasting, <laughs> like oh, okay. other fasting or oh, fasting. Yeah, fasting. Yeah, maybe uh, can you tell me how to do some good diet or uh, what kind of diet uh, that can we do at home during this pandemic? Ah, so as why well, right here, so many diets that you can do in my end. Yeah. One of the diet that I recommend to you is low carb diets, but if you can, yeah. low carb diets uh, is what I read here. Um, so you can reduce your carbs more drastically than others. For instance, for the low carb diet like the keto diet, and and yeah, you just reduce your carbs like eat some you know reduce your rice on your plate and then just change it with corn or maybe any other carb source like cassava yeah many like or maybe sweet potato or just change it with potato i think yeah so many diets maybe um shakila wanna suggest more about diet that my like Jalita said, uh, you could reduce the uh, foods that you eat a day with a food that less uh, has less calories and um, higher protein. And also, I think for breakfast, we used to eat a big breakfast like nasi uduk and uh, sort oh, of foods yeah. like that. We could re uh, uh, we could replace it with smoothies. Or just oat meals with uh, almond milk or a low-fat milk. We could eat, uh, replace our breakfast into that because it's healthier. Or just eat banana in the morning. Maybe with peanut butter, it's good. I've tried it. Uh, it just tastes like ice cream if you freeze it. And then for I think for for reducing um, calories, we could eat a less calories for lunch. Like we replace our rice into the red rice if i'm not mistaken oh, that's what it calls yeah, uh, it it, ha it has uh less calories and less uh glucose glucose yeah mm -hmm. exactly and uh you you you, re you could reduce a fried food because uh you know it's it was fried and it has lots of calories inside it and uh the most important thing is just reduce uh fast food just don't eat fast food because it's oh, forbidden yeah. i can say <laughs> maybe you could at least eat it once a month maybe 
and don't eat dinner more than more uh, than um, at six o'clock because oh. uh, the benefit you get is worse than when you eat your dinner at six. Uh, that's my that's um, my suggestion from my experiences because you know I've ever uh, went to a nutritionist. And uh, the nutritionist said that, uh, well, calories that we need, it depends our, on our body, from our body. So you cannot do diet. Uh, if, if the diet's successful with somebody, maybe it's not successful at yours. So it just depends on your body. Yeah. So I think the most intensive way is just to reduce calories and eat lots of protein. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, every people has different diet program. Is it right? Yeah, yeah that's true. Right. Okay, it, uh, it depends on uh, their body and their mm -hmm. activities and their age, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, maybe for obesity, uh, first, well, lots of people told us to just exercising but for some people they couldn't take it maybe we could start from the dieting and just reduce our calories just reduce our eating um, symptoms and then after that we strong enough to do exercise we, we exercising at least we moved our body 15 minutes a day yeah this yeah if we don't move our body our body will get stiff and of course, you will get some big pain and stuff like that. <laughs> Especially yeah. at our ages, we just, I don't know, we just do less exercise than the others. Especially me, I think that especially when we're in an online school, just being busy, we just don't have any time for exercising. Yeah, I know it's bad, but then uh, what can I do? <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Because we're just too busy from homeworks and all the things. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, if, like, the offline school, I usually just went to, I usually just go to school, like, at 7 a.m. And then, but, um, go, go home at, I think, 5 p.m., something like that. And my class is on the fourth floor. But, but I never get tired, like. I, I rarely, I rarely like get sick and uh, ask permission to, you know, because I'm gonna get sick. I got sick, but for today, I just um uh, the pandemic this uh, online classes. I actually don't do something hard activities like what I I did in the offline school. But I feel that I get tired easily rather than you know the offline school because my body has adapt to this <laughs> to the situation that I didn't do anything and if I do something hard activity a hard activity my body gets hard easily. That's why exercise is really important. Yeah. Let me just move your body. I yeah. Really do. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah Mayan. Oh okay uh so talking mm -hmm. about obesity what which country do you think that has um the most obesity rate i think indonesian because uh do you know the obesity case uh like the boy do you have seen the boy and the uh woman the toddler one? The toddler one? Yeah, the toddler. And he... Oh, wait. Um, hmm. I've seen one, a boy. I think it's a yeah, teenager. And, yeah, the teenager one. And uh, he is handled by... Um, some experts. Uh, yeah, some experts in Indonesia. Oh, Adirai. Oh. Yeah, and... He handled by Adirai. Oh, Adirai. To, oh, uh, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, his name uh, is Arya. Or... Oh, yeah, Arya, Arya. Uh, yeah, Arya. His name is Arya. Yeah, Arya. And uh, last time I 
So, yun. Yeah. He has. Uh, 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 so, am I lagging? Oh, okay. No, no. My end. Yeah. Good body and more. Yeah. Uh, he has the thin body than before. He's done I several uh, operations. Um, yeah. Uh-huh. To take out some fat like that. Yeah. Yeah. And... Yeah, because I think yeah. obesity making him, you know, hard to breathe. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of Gosh. disadvantage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and... my. Yeah. Continue. Uh, yeah, and they just can uh, laying on the bed. Because mm. cannot walk, couldn't walk, and couldn't yeah. do any activities. Uh, even they can do... Okay. See, I think it's a bit like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can continue to the... So, as you say it. what I read, Mayan, Indonesia is on 162 on the list. Oh, it sounds good. It sounds good. It's not the on highest, in, on higher place. So, maybe, Shakila, any guess what country is, um. is the most obesity, right? I think I've ever watched a TV uh, TV shows that tell uh, about obese, the obese, but then I'm not really sure the countries. I think it's in America or just Australia, I think. I don't really know that. Mm. So let's see. So for Australia, Australia is on 27 on mm. this and united states is the 12th on the st- on the list 12th on the list so in the con- contrary like i i mean if we ask to some people who didn't know i should i think i think that my answer that united states is the most country with the most obesity rate but actually it's nauru so now oh, is no. yeah now is a small island that I think next to or maybe near with Australia, so it has sixty one percent obesity rate. Wow, wow, that's a big number. It's a big number. So let's compare it with Indonesia. Where is Indonesia? One mm, okay, Indonesia has six point ninety percent. Six six point ninety with sixty one percent is so far. Yeah. And so I think that people must keep an eye to their health healthiness and can do some diets for healthiness and not just for any appearance and some patients mm-hmm. like that. Maybe have anything to say about obesity, or maybe? Well, um, I think for me, being obesity, it ha- has a lot of disadvantages. But uh, for some people, they cannot even control their uh, eating symptoms, so they did it anyway, even though they knew that they're already overweight. So I think the most uh, valuable and also the most effective uh, ways to prevent and heal the obesity, just go to the nutritionist or just go to the doctor. I think it's the most effective way. Just It's better than just um, guessing your body symptoms, your eating symptoms by following others' a type of diet because maybe the diet could match or not. It, it, it just depends on your body. So I think the good way to to prevent to heal obesity is just go to the doctor. Yeah, uh, I think uh, we can uh, search some reference 
uh, from you to from the article or from the um, what is it called or from the athlete or telegram but mm -hmm. we can uh, force ourselves to yeah. do what they do yeah i think that the healthiest way to reduce faith our minds in our body is just do some exercise other than do some extreme diet or maybe uh, some people even didn't do diets and just having exercise to you know balance balance balancing mm -hmm. between what they eat and what they burn the fact that they burn mm -hmm. so talking about obesity i think many people some people like what you say Shakila couldn't you know control what they add because one of the factors that can cause obesity is depression yeah oh depression yeah. I think it's uh, like a mental illness is it right that is one of the mental illnesses okay so um, many people gain weight because they have uh, depression and when they have when they depress they just add to you know forget their depression what what is their what about their problems they just eat to solve that is one of the you know the signal of their body mm -hmm. to fight the depression and yeah depression uh, have many many what is it uh, like uh, people who suffer depression there are some people who eat more and gain weight and uh, there are some people who you know reduce the weight and lost some fat and until they have anorexia like so many eating disorder eating symptoms that cause by depression i think that we have okay. to you know control ourselves to say something good to um, other people because you don't know what can it leads to mm -hmm. so okay. um i think that's all yeah. I have for yeah. and i think uh talk about the mental illness uh we should we talk about it talk mm -hmm. it uh, the other in video. The next conversation. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Maybe. It's, uh, a, it's important things. Mm -hmm. You guys, you should uh, so, eh, you should see our next video <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> about the mental illness. So, yeah. any quotes? Um, oh. What? Okay, let me think. Maybe you should think too, my aunt. It's a serious okay. thing, guys. We gotta do uh, it right. 20 seconds left. Okay, okay wait, wait, wait. Um, oh, oh my gosh. Wait, I oh almost God. swear, I almost swear. <laughs> so, okay, quotes of the day that we gotta control ourselves to say anything good to other people. I think that's it. Okay, uh -huh, okay, uh -huh. thank you for today. Okay, see you next week. Bye. Uh, is it? Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. okay, okay.